Uh, my name is John Dernbach. I teach at Widener University Commonwealth Law School in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And I'm one of the co-editors of Legal Pathways to Deep Decarbonization in the United States. Deep decarbonization is a multi-decadal effort at reducing greenhouse gas emissions somewhere near zero. And the broad technical and economic question is how you accomplish that. There are five broad things that need to be done. One, you need to improve energy efficiency by at least a factor of two. Secondly, you need to decarbonize the electricity sector, and that can be done in a variety of ways. Third, you need to move liquid fuels, particularly gasoline and oil, and particularly for transportation, into either electricity or hydrogen fuel cell vehicles or something like that. Fourth, you need to reduce carbon dioxide that's already in the atmosphere because it's already now higher than it's been in at least 800,000 years and it takes a century or more to remove. And then fifth and finally, you need to reduce other pollutants other than carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, black carbon, and fluorinated compounds. Well, what we decided to do was look across federal, state, and local governments and not to try and limit it to one particular level of government. We also decided to bring in private governance. On the sectors, we thought we wanted to, we wanted to do as broad a sweep as we possibly could. Our idea was that, that, this, that decarbonizing the U.S. economy is a really big deal uh, and it's a really hard thing to do and we wanted the book to be as comprehensive as it possibly could be. There are about 1,500 legal recommendations, federal, state, local, and private, uh, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The Paris Agreement is about reducing greenhouse gas emissions uh, to a point where the warming that you get does not exceed 2 degrees C. We see our book as being something that could help accomplish the Paris Agreement. 